What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with the new iPad scheduled to hit stores tomorrow. I thought it'd be fun to run through my favorite applications on my existing iPad 2. These are also going to be the same ones that I'll be putting on my new iPad. Also gives me a chance to try out this crazy new setup we're messing with here in the office. Let me know what you think. Let's go ahead and get started and check out the apps. All right, so some of these you've seen before, so I'm gonna kind of run through them, and some of them might be new, and we'll go into a bit more detail. So messages, all pretty standard, YouTube, photos, reminders, notes, videos, settings, camera apps, standard camera stuff uh, lives in there. Newsstand, Analytics HD is what lets me track Google Analytics for technobuffalo.com. A very handy application, I believe it's about $10 for website owners, lets you see how many visitors you have, where those links came from, what sites are referring to you, and can really help you better steer your traffic. On the bottom here, this is my five icons always stay the same. We've got Safari, Mail, Calendar, Twitterific, which is my Twitter client of choice. It actually just got updated uh, in preparation for the new uh, iPad launch. Go ahead and see what it looks like, it's pretty standard. You can sort by messages, at replies, favorites, whatever you like, and you can see those all there, and maybe you'll even see your name uh, show up on here. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next screen. Uh, contacts, I don't really keep many contacts on my iPad. Uh, iTunes, music, maps, calculator. Uh, surprising that the iPad doesn't ship with the calculator, so I use that one. Game Center, productivity. This is something that's kind of neat. I've showed it in a previous video. Uh, I don't know why it's in a productivity folder i3d essentially what it does is it uses uh, the camera here to track your face and lets you show uh, sort of a 3d space it's just a proof of concept uh, free application definitely go ahead and give that guy a shot uh, ibooks the new iMovie applications flickster for checking out movie times remote for remoting things angry birds i can't wait to get some angry bird space going on in here i had to delete plants vs zombies because i was playing it too much so for my own productivity sake Plants vs. Zombies is not on here. Netflix, Pandora, VLC lets you play a ton of other media files. Uh, was available in the App Store, then was taken down, then came back, then was taken down, so check to make sure it's there. Bloomberg for tracking my stocks. Alarm clock. Curiously, it doesn't have an alarm clock on it. This is kind of a crappy one. It doesn't work if you close the smart cover and the application's not uh, still running when you close it. I don't recommend uh, alarm clock. Kindle, Akinator HD is really cool. Um, if you go ahead and select it, actually we'll use a ton of really cool algorithms to guess um, someone's name or character that you are trying to play. So we can get this guy to rotate here for us. Doesn't want to rotate. Um, essentially, you go ahead and you wake up this genie, ask the genie questions, and you can go ahead and guess a character, both real or um, imaginary, or a cartoon or something. Pretty neat. Facebook application, I don't really use that all that much. Mostly I use it when I want to upload photos. Generally, I'll use the browser and the Facebook.com um, URL. Uh, this is an application that a fan made, kind of neat. It's John. It was made for the iPhone, and it's just me talking. You go ahead and you can hear the different things that it has to say. Go ahead and click the volume on. If you're not sick of hearing my voice anyway. Very ram hungry. Ram hungry. Ram hungry. Very ram hungry. Wiki, 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 wiki. Anyway, kind of neat. Skype, speed test. As I mentioned in previous videos, I have a speed test problem. I speed test everything. Uh, Tiny Wings. Urban Spoon, it's a cool application for picking a restaurant uh, near you or by you. It's an iPhone application, fortunately, uh, based on different criteria. Go ahead and exit out of that. White Noise, for those of you guys that follow me on Twitter, you will know that I've got a big sleeping problem. I ask to be pitch black when I sleep, and usually I have a fan going. Uh, white Noise application that lets me have white noise while I sleep. It's been really helpful when I travel, actually, to go ahead and play you know, dishwasher noise or fan noise. Um, just sort of helps me lull to sleep. So for fellow insomniacs out there, uh, white noise is a really good application. Monopoly HD is exactly what you think. Monopoly. I love playing Monopoly. I liked it on the board games. Uh, it's a great way to pass an hour or so when you're on an airplane. Uh, IMAM, this is a virtual arcade cabinet, which was available in the App Store, and then got taken down again. Let uh, me go ahead and put different games uh, on here. This was downloaded from the App Store. Nothing is jailbroken on here uh, or side-loaded on. This is all sort of standard stuff that was available at one point uh, in the App Store. Amex for the iPad for paying my Amex bills. Uh, Toy Story applications. I have little tiny nieces, uh, three and four, who went to go see Toy Story on ice and absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, one thinks she's Buzz, the other one thinks she's Jessie. 
Uh, so whenever I go over and see them, I have my iPad with me, we go ahead and run through those Toy Story applications. Zillow for real estate, Redfin for real estate, just like to have fun, look at classes. Uh, on Live is really cool. Let me go ahead and open this up, uh, pull us off camera for just one minute. As I log in, there's been some legal issues going on uh, about this. Essentially what it does, it gives you a virtualized Windows 7 environment with Microsoft Office. You can actually pay uh, a little bit extra to use a browser in there. Um, but otherwise, you're going to get full Microsoft Office capabilities right over your iPad. It's really kind of cool. Let's go ahead and get this uh, logged in. All right, so here is on live, and it looks just like Windows 7. Um, go ahead and see that things work. You don't get full control over a lot of stuff. This is free. Um, there's been some licensing issues going on here. But uh, kind of neat if you try and open up uh, Microsoft Word, for example, you can see how fast it goes. It actually works pretty quickly. Um, it does give you a full virtualized environment. So if you go ahead and try and type something, it's not going to pull up the iPad keyboard. It's going to pull up the Windows 7 keyboard. Go ahead and type right there. But it responds very well. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and type something and I can show you. Uh, it's very quick. And surprisingly, it's very usable. Now, what you can do with this as far as writing a document or opening a document, there's not really that much you can do since you can't access the browser uh, to email it to yourself. If you pay a little bit of a premium, you can access the browser and you can go to your Gmail or whatever you use for email and uh, send it to yourself. But I'll show you what it looks like when you try and open up a browser. And again, for a free application, it's uh, pretty cool. You have to double click. and unleash your tablet and sort of takes you to a place where you need to, uh, to purchase stuff. But just for fun, let's go ahead and try something different. Let's go ahead and try, let's go try and go in Techno Buffalo. Pull up the keyboard. More difficult to type though than uh, expected. Back, there we go. T-E-C-H. Yeah, hard to type at this angle. Back. There we go. Technobuffalo.com. Sorry, on live desktop Santa doesn't support general web browsing. So there you go. Uh, kind of neat though. We'll go ahead and close this. Close the keyboard. And actually, I will physically shut down uh, the computer as you would on an actual Windows machine. Or at least log it off. And we're done. So pretty neat. Uh, free. Definitely go check it out while it's still available before Microsoft takes it down. Uh, Hulu Plus, I've recently gotten into watching Hulu Plus on the PS3, so this is the application for the tablet, watch all kinds of TV shows. Uh, Chartbeat is a anal real-time analytics tool that we use for Techno Buffalo to track how many users are actually reading a particular article in any given moment. This is actually an iPhone application. Uh, this is Photoshop Touch. It's Photoshop uh, probably merits its own sort of video and walkthrough, but to manipulate pictures. Uh, a lot of stuff very similar with the new iPhoto application. That's launching with the new iPad uh, does, but you get a lot of pictures with it. You can see one that I made here with Mercedes and Lucy saying soon. It was when Lucy was a little pup and Mercedes was not overly pleased. Now, yeah, just sort of playing with the application, seeing what it could do. Uh, CNET, I love to watch uh, Brian Cooley's car videos on CNET TV, so I do that uh, through there. Pages for creating some documents. Uh, this one's really cool, Art Circles. This is done by the folks at art.com. I, while I was traveling, I really got into, turn the volume down on this, uh, I got into checking out museums and got really into art. Um, this is just an incredible application, lets you check out some of the greatest works of art in the world. Let's go ahead and go home. You can view these different art circles by different artists. So let's go ahead and find, how about Faves? So Michael Hawley, go ahead and view his collection. You can see a little bit about him. You go ahead and hit play, and you can view all these works of art. Uh, it's just very cool to sort of see it. You can obviously scroll through or set it to do it manually. Just beautiful to see some photog from uh, some photos and some you know, some of the world's greatest paintings. I just really enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to check out the application, I'll put a link to this one uh, down below in the description. And go ahead and continue our tour, and we've continued it. Tour is done. Uh, generally, when I don't use an application, I will delete it right away. I don't like to stockpile apps. I don't like to have one of those few people. I don't like to have folders and folders and folders of hundreds of applications. I only like to have on here what I use. So what applications am I missing? I'm excited to try iPhoto on the new iPad. Uh, anything else that you think I need to have on here that would make my iPad tablet life complete? I want to hear from you. Uh, leave your comments down below. I'm John Brettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.